Don't turn off the lights. Don't look in the windows, but always look behind you. I'm Glow Boy Jr. and these are the top five chilling ghost images. Number five, something strange in the window of Whaley House gift shop. Reddit user Amari1990 posted this strange image of something peeking through the top window of Whaley House gift shop. They posted the story which goes, a couple years ago, I took a tour of Whaley House in San Diego. They encourage you to take photos throughout the tour. I didn't catch anything unexplainable, other than a ton of orbs that are most likely explained by a non-paranormal occurrence. I definitely recommend taking the tour when it's back open. It has a super interesting history outside of its reported paranormal activity. My photo is from the house next door, which acts as the gift shop. It's where you go to buy tickets for the tour. It's called the Werner House, and it was relocated and restored to its current location. I don't know much about its history, other than the shop employee telling us a few of his own paranormal experiences. Werner was possibly haunted by one of its previous inhabitants. After taking the last tour of the night, I wanted to get a photo of Werner House, and this is what I captured. The gift shop was closed at the time, and it appeared that all the lights were off inside of the building. I'd love to get your opinions on what this could be. Thank you for reading. Now looking at this image myself, I can't tell you what that is. It almost looks ape-like, glaring through the top window. What could this strange entity be? Number four. Children handprints appeared on my mirror this morning. I have no kids and live alone. The Reddit post of this image goes as follows. I woke up this morning and went to my closet door, which is actually a full mirror. I noticed these tiny handprints on my mirror. The issue is, they have just appeared and I live alone. In the five months that I have lived in this townhouse, I've never babysat or even had kids over. I've cleaned this mirror a handful of times when it got dusty, so there's no way that I've missed this hand the entire time. The whole thing freaked me out so badly that I've just wiped them away. However, I took some pictures first. Check it out and let me know what you think. Edith, I changed the locks a few days ago, and I've not provided my landlord with a copy of the keys yet. In this chilling image, you can see what looks like a small child's hand imprinted on the mirror alongside the person's hand beside them. If what the Reddit poster says is true, then there's no way these hands can possibly belong to him. So who do these small childlike hands belong to? Let me know what you think in the comments. Number three, was there truly something behind me? Reddit user Real Life 6 posted this image along with this caption. I don't really believe in the paranormal. I always lean towards the rational side of things, even when there is no explanation. That stated, I'm posting this because I didn't know what to think of this picture when it was taken a couple of hours ago. I was in class on Zoom, and after class I realised that my classmates were all sending me messages the entire class. They were telling me that there was a ghostly figure behind me for a good couple of minutes during class. They took pictures of my camera segment in Zoom. I post this because I truly don't know if it's possible, or it could be photoshopped. This was posted mere minutes after them being sent to me. I say this because the picture shows the time that was taken, the laptop time at the bottom right, and it was taken two minutes before they sent it to me. In the picture, I have it super zoomed in at the photo section, but you can clearly see that there is something standing there. I'm not saying that it's something that's kind of there, or a mist. You can clearly see hands of some kind, and a head around six feet tall in the background. This is a truly chilling image. As you can see in the image, there is a ghostly figure stood behind the boy during his Zoom call. Now usually I'd wave a picture like this off, but the fact that it's during a Zoom call during his classes makes it that bit more creepier. Number two, I took a picture of my daughter and this scary face appeared over hers. Reddit user Miss New Booty posted this picture along with this caption. I was taking a picture of my daughter when I looked back at the picture, I was shocked to see what looks like a creepy face. She looks nothing like the face in this image, and the head looks massive on her tiny five-year-old body. Okay, more info. This is not an edited photo. I know I can't prove this to you, but I promise that it's not. There's no colour correction or anything. The lights were out and my husband can be seen in the top right corner on his laptop. That's why his face is glowing. My daughter was dancing, jumping with glow sticks, and I took her picture. This is the image that it produced. I never felt uneasy in my house or thought that it was haunted. My kids were freaked out by this picture and had to sleep in our room last night. Now as she states in the picture, which is true, the head on the body is far too large, along with no distinct facial features other than a nose and a small mouth. The face seen on this child has no eyes, along with a strange hoop 
on the centre of the forehead. A lot of the comments on Reddit seem to be going towards the idea of an entity being attached to the little girl. Perhaps maybe a dead family member, or an angel looking over her. Whatever it may be, I hope that the family can take solace knowing that something is watching over her daughter. But before we get to number one, make sure to hit like and subscribe on the video, and let me know which of these pictures was your favourite in the comments below. And last but not least, number one. Strange experiences with faces appearing in my house last night. A Reddit user put this image on Reddit. What appears to be a strange face shape into a coat, along with this story. A half one last night. The open window blew my bedroom curtain, and as it began to settle, a face seemed to form in its creases. As in, the folds and the shadows in the hanging curtain had formed a face. It wasn't frightening, just very unsettling. I stared at it for about 30 minutes. After a while I called for my partner, but he didn't hear me. I went downstairs and got a glass of water, and told my partner that I felt anxious and I couldn't sleep. I said nothing about the face in the curtain, because I didn't want him thinking I was crazy. Then this morning, when he gets up, he shows me a photo he had taken after I fell asleep last night, at around 2 to 3 a.m. Our dog began barking at the front hallway. She will never bark in the house, and appeared to be scared. My partner went to check on her, and that's when he saw her face that had formed in the creases of his coat hanging on the wall. He took a photograph, and it's the same face that I'd saw in the curtain that I didn't tell him about. They weren't frightening experiences, just very unsettling and we both were a bit spooked. Does anyone have any ideas why something would want to make its presence known? We've lived in this house since October 2019, and we've never had anything like this happen. Now as you can see in the picture, there is a very clear face in this coat hanging on a wall. The nose, mouth and eyes look angry, almost as if it's frowning. Could this be a poltergeist making itself known? Or simply, just the wind? I personally don't believe it could be the wind, as the shape of the face is so clear. But alas, I've been Gilly Boy Jr. Thank you for watching. Stay creepy.